And food banks aren't the only ones struggling to find meat. Many of the larger grocery stores are as well. It is a nationwide supply chain issue. 13 on your sides, Elena Holland spoke to a local meat seller and a local meat processor about the challenges they face. Oh yeah, beautiful. At Sobey's Meat Market. So this chunk is the chuck. The other portion of that is the rib. The display cases are full. Got a lot of meat. A lot of sausages, a lot of good things for the tum tum. But that's not the case for many larger grocery store chains, which may be faced with empty meat coolers. And at points in the past year, owner Tim Sobey says certain meat cuts have been hard to come by. Uh, for a while, it was getting ribs uh, off from pigs uh, because they didn't have the manpower to separate the rib away from the loins. Now the big challenge lies in the processing part of the supply chain. It's been a struggle. Carl Jones, the owner of Jones Farm Market, harvests the animals live, processes them, ages, and sells the meat. Everything is done right here. But they are booking processing 12 to 15 months out. Prior to the pandemic, they were at six weeks. The problem... Labor, labor, labor. Jones says they need immediate help. Plus, the experienced processors are aging close to retirement. So it's kind of a dying business in a way, but it's a business that we need desperately. He hopes consumers would reach out to local and federal government to encourage help for the meat industry. We're all pushing as hard as we can, but we're getting tired. We need more help. So we'll get that ready to go for them and um, they'll be hooked up. And for markets, the lack of labor in the processing link in the chain can trickle down into empty meat cases. Like nobody wants to talk about the labor issue, right? But that is the biggest thing to get the economy back going again is we need people to get off their rump roast. Elena Holland, 13 on your side.